on an English muffin, and then I have some delicious organic blackberries. So my English muffin is four points, my slice of cheese is four points, the egg is zero, the blackberries are zero, so my breakfast is going to be eight points, and I also am going to be refilling my third cup of water. Hello guys, and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. As you saw, I had an amazing breakfast. It is now just before 11 o'clock, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to have a little bit of a morning snack. I'm going to have the Brew Doctor Clear Mind Kombucha. This is rosemary, mint, sage, and green tea. It is 60 calories per bottle. As you know, WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. So I'm going to have my bottle of kombucha. And I'm going to have one of my favorite Verb Energy bars. You guys know how much I love Verb Energy but I really love this flavor. It is so good. So first let's talk about Verb Energy. These bars are three points on all plans, 90 calories. They contain 65 milligrams of caffeine, naturally derived caffeine from green tea, which is the same as what's in a shot of espresso. So I love these for that mid-morning, afternoon pick-me-up. They're great pre-workout, really great for pre-workout. When I do jazzercise at 8 a.m. on Friday, Saturdays, Sometimes Thursday mornings, I always have one of these as my pre-workout snack because it just gets me going and ready for that super hard workout. But this particular flavor is the chocolate peanut butter cup. I've shared these in a couple of videos because I'm obsessed with these ones. They taste like a no-bake cookie. I mean, a bakery style no-bake cookie. I'm not joking when I say that. They are so good. So many of you have ordered these and have posted in my Facebook group or commented on my videos and let me know that you guys love these just as much and you can't beat it for three points and 90 calories. So this is the size of the bar. I mean, it's, it's small, but it's a perfect size for a snack. I mean, it even looks like a no-bake cookie. They are so, so good. I feel like I'm indulging. That's so crazy to me. I feel like I'm indulging in a bakery no-bake cookie. They have that sweetness, that salty, that chocolate peanut butter. So, so, so good. So I will link Verb Energy down below for you. You can pick up the sample bag, which is what this is. You can get you get to pick the flavor for only $10 for 12 of the Verb Energy bars. And Verb is so sweet, they actually throw in four or five other flavors of other bars for you to try along with your only $10 sample pack. So I'll link it down below with the special link that brings you over to the $10 pack. Highly recommend. Chocolate peanut butter cup is my favorite. I do love all of the flavors. Every single one is really good. But this one, a million out of 10. 
I'm gonna take you guys out to our garage. I've mentioned in a couple of videos that we are putting brand new floors in our house. I'm filming this video on Sunday. The kid that we hired, kid, 15 year old kid that's a friend of mine's son is going to be here Tuesday to start ripping up the flooring in our bedroom and work their way into our mudroom. What we're having to do is move furniture from room to room while that room's flooring is being torn up. So it's going to be a huge pain. I told Troy it feels like we're moving again and we swore we would never move again. We're going to have to sleep in separate rooms until the flooring in our bedroom is done. I'm sure it's going to freak the dogs out, but I will say that I'm so excited for the new flooring. We're getting all new molding. We're putting new toilets in two of our three bathrooms. The other bathroom already has a new toilet. That's the one that we remodeled. And then we're putting a new vanity in our other bathroom. So I'm going to give you some shots before and after of what we're doing. I'm gonna show you the huge stack of expensive flooring in my garage. And then I'll share with you guys updates as we work throughout the project. So as you guys know, this is the bathroom that we remodeled at the beginning of this year. We put in the big walk-in shower. I remember sh I did share with you guys all the different updates and things as we finished up this bathroom. We put the vanity in and we also put in new flooring. So I'm trying to get you guys close up so you can see. We love this flooring. It is from Aqualogic. It's a luxury vinyl flooring. It is in the color faded barn. It's very, very nice. It's very expensive, but it's waterproof and has a, I think 10 or 20 year warranty. And then we are purchasing a couple more of these taller toilets, comfort height toilets, I think they're called. Well, hello. You guys wanna take a little tour with me? So this is the flooring that we're putting in throughout our entire house so that it matches with the flooring that we put into our new bathroom. So this is the flooring that we have now. And I know what you're thinking. It looks a lot like our new flooring. Yes, it does, but it is very, very different. This is that really cheap stick on flooring. If you can see, if you can see right here, see how you can just literally pick up the flooring. It just is that sticky back. It slides, it moves. This is the subfloor underneath as it slid. So they put this flooring in right before we bought the house. Yes, it looks really nice. We had no idea it was as cheap and crummy as it is. But as we've lived here over the last almost four years, it slid. It also has lots of gouges and in fact over here you can see that the coloring of the flooring is wearing away. It's just time for a huge flooring upgrade. We will be putting that same flooring throughout our entire house with the exception of this room. This is one of our guest rooms. This is usually where my mom stays or my best friend stays when she comes to visit. It does have a really nice carpet because nobody ever goes in here. We actually leave the doors shut and this is where Lola and I will be sleeping while they're putting the flooring in our master. And then right across the hall is a second guest bedroom that has that same carpet that's a virtually brand new. In fact, nobody has ever stayed in this bedroom since we purchased our house. We just put a single bed in here just in the event that we needed it for guests. But like I said, these doors stay closed. No one's ever been in here. So there really wasn't a point in ripping up the carpet. I am going to be ripping out this carpet in my office and putting in the flooring. I'm really excited to get rid of this carpet. These dogs, they come in every room I go and look at her. Turd. So I'm really excited to rip out the carpet and then I'm going to rearrange my office. I'm actually going to be putting my desk over here in front of the window for natural light for filming so I can get back to filming in my office. But this is one of the rooms I'm most excited about the new flooring. Lola, come on. So this is one of our guest bathrooms. This is the one that that guest bedroom uses. You can see that it's right across the hall. This bathroom's getting new flooring, a, a new a vanity, a new mirror new faucets, all the things, and a comfort height toilet. All of this wood slide together flooring, whatever it is that goes down our hallway and into our mudroom is being replaced with that same flooring. And then our third bathroom, which is Troy's bathroom, this tile is coming out, that flooring is going in, and then he's also getting a comfort height toilet. We did just kind of redo the decor in here not too long ago to that more, you know, rustic look. He actually picked that out for his bathroom. 
Look at his toilet paper holder. It's seriously so cute. This room here, which we use for storage because it's the fifth room in our house and we don't need it as a bedroom. This room, this carpet is coming out and the wood floor and the new flooring is going in just because we do utilize this room a lot. We did buy another set of shelves to put in this room here on this wall just to organize it a little bit better. And this entire hallway and our mud room here, which is quite large, is also going to now have that vinyl flooring where the dogs go out their little dog door. And then we have some French doors that go out towards our patio. And we have a lab sitting out here on his dog bed. So here are the stacks of flooring. Like I said, this is a luxury vinyl. Of course, the price has went up since we remodeled our bathroom. Hi, buddy. So it ended up being about $3.50 a square foot or $85 a box to the tune of 95 boxes to do our entire house. So that was a big investment for us. And then we did go ahead and buy all new molding. So we're just going to rip out all of the white molding, put in new white molding, new toilet paper holder for the guest bathroom. Here's the new faucet for that bathroom, the new mirror. And then here is the vanity that we picked. It's really pretty. It's a darker wood and then it has a white top. It's called the Sedgewood Collection from Home Decorators. We just picked this up from Home Depot. And then the mirror actually is that same wood color as the vanity. Here's the other storage shelf for the storage room. And then the two comfort height toilets. So everything that we bought for the new flooring, we're just storing here in our office. Like I said, by the time you guys see this video, the contractor will be here installing the flooring in our bedroom and the bedroom flooring would have already been ripped up. But we are so excited to not have that flooring, but instead have that flooring. So here's my lunch for today. I'm having a pretty late lunch. I have not been very hungry today, but I am getting pretty hungry now. It's about two o'clock actually. So I'm going to have my buffalo chicken roll-ups that I made in meal prep. These are delicious, you guys. Absolutely incredible. The entire roll-up is only six points. And then I just have some red grapes for that little bit of sweetness and some added fruit to my lunch. So my lunch is going to be six points and water update. I'm halfway done with my gallon. In case you missed Sunday's video, I shared with you that I released the first one in my four part recipe ebook series. So many of you have reached out to me and said, make a cookbook, make a cookbook. And like I mentioned in that video, a hard bound cookbook is number one, really expensive to make, create, and print, not to mention shipping it, and the cost to you would be 40, 50, or even more dollars. So I wanted to do something that would give you recipes like you asked for, but in an affordable way. So I came up with a four part ebook series. So the first one that was released on Sunday is 15 WW friendly, calorie friendly recipes for breakfast. Points for all plans are included, calories are included. You can simply print it, put it in a cute binder, save it on your computer, screenshot it, whatever you wanna do with it, but it's your ebook once you purchase it and it is only $15. So by the time you purchase all four of my recipe ebooks, it'll be the same price as one cookbook and you'll have 60 WW calorie friendly recipes. So like I said, the first book is breakfast. You're not gonna wanna miss it. These breakfast recipes are incredible. Some of them are tried and true. Some of them are brand new to me. Some of them I featured on my channel and some of them I haven't. They're exclusive to the ebook. So down in the description box, I will link the breakfast recipe ebook. Again, it's $15. Once you purchase it, it's emailed to you directly. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So far, I've been getting really, really good feedback. I actually hired a graphic designer to make the ebook because I wanted it to be super, super nice and aesthetically pleasing. And I just knew that I wasn't talented enough to do that. So I did hire it, had it done, and I was still able to keep it at an affordable $15. So again, it is linked down below for you. And thank you guys again for all of your support for those of you that have purchased it, who are going to purchase it. Seriously, it means the world to me. For an afternoon snack, I'm keeping it pretty light, but I wanted something hearty at the same time. So I'm gonna do a healthy eating all the time and go bar. This is the cranberry one. It's one of my very favorites. This is a peanut butter based oat bar. There's nine grams of protein. It is six points and it has the cleanest of all clean ingredients. They're very filling and satisfying. In fact, they make a great meal replacement, but I'm just going to have this as an afternoon snack. We are going to be eating dinner a bit later tonight, so this will definitely tide me over. I will link healthy eating all the time and go bars down in the description box. 
box with 10% off, not an affiliate link, just 10% for you. And it helps support such an amazing small business. So I can't wait to dig into this. For dinner tonight, I am making the ultimate cheeseburger soup. It is colder here. It's not the nicest day. And we haven't had soup in a long time. And I don't know about you, but cheeseburger soup sounds absolutely incredible. We're going to make this in my instant pot. You could also use a Dutch oven or a stovetop. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need a big box of beef broth, diced tomatoes, thyme, a big yellow onion, or in my case, two small yellow onions, one russet potato, Dijon mustard, light shredded cheese, celery, a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually dice up my onions, dice up my potato, and dice He's up some celery. Bond, he won't love you better. I can watch you sinking down on the bottom ship. So come to send in again, Mississippi. saute. I just threw in my pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. What I love most about an instant pot is you cook everything literally in one pot. So it makes cleanup so, so easy. And you can even brown your meat and everything in the one pot. I love it. I will link this one down below. I just bought mine off of Amazon, but I'm going to get this beef nice and brown before we add in the onions and the celery. Once your hamburger is browned, we're going to add in the celery and onion that we cut up and we're going to keep it on saute mode and just allow this to cook down for about two to three more minutes. Continuing on saute mode, we're going to add in the chopped up russet potato, a big heaping spoonful of minced garlic, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of thyme, and about a half of a teaspoon of each salt and pepper. Go ahead and stir that together until everything is combined. We're now going to add in the can of diced tomatoes and the four cups of beef broth. We're still keeping it on the saute mode. We're actually sauteing throughout the entire cooking process. We're not putting the lid on, which is an interesting and unique way to use the Instant Pot, but we're just going to allow this mixture to come to a boil on saute and then let it remain at a boil for 25 minutes. Once it's been boiling on saute for 20 to 25 minutes, I didn't show you this, but of course I forgot something as always, but I am adding a bag of frozen mixed vegetables to the soup and then stirring that in, allowing that to cook about another five minutes or so. We wanna make sure those vegetables get warmed completely through. Also, I just poured the last glass of water out of my gallon. It is 10 minutes to 5 p.m. and my gallon of water is done. The soup is done, so the last step is after I've turned off the heat, I'm going to add in one cup of light shredded cheese, stir it in, and we have cheeseburger soup. There is the soup. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. I'm going to a dish up a bowl and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner. The entire batch makes only six servings. You get quite a large serving. It is a five points on the blue and green plan and only three on purple just because you don't have to count for the russet potato. I may pop in a couple of saltine crackers. If I do, I'll put the updated points here on the screen, but this is dinner. What I'm going to have for dessert tonight, my favorite little snack. These are from Utopia. They're 130 calories. They have eight grams of protein and they're only four points per pack. This is the bananas for chocolate. So they have dark chocolate, sunflower seeds, banana chips, and these really good cocoa espresso cookie puffs. Everything in these little bags are so good. It's quite a good size too for four points. And I like that you do get the eight grams of protein. I'll open it up and show it to you guys. But this is my dessert for tonight.